Teachers of Babette. What was the best excuse for being late? That turned out to be true. She had to take her sister to school and drive her mom to a hand. She was always late to class because her... She had to take her sister to school and drive her mom to rehab. She was always late because her mom just wanted to sleep in. Problem was if the mom was late or did not go she would have violated her probation and gone to prison. I never marked her late. If she missed anything important she could come in at lunch or after school to make it up. Flock of wild turkeys in the road. Not always school, but this happened more than once in my life. For those of you who have never found yourselves in this situation, there is no way out of it. Wild turkeys will move when they damn well decide to do so, and only then. A guy in my college class missed class one day. The next day he came in with his eye covered up and medical paperwork in hand. Apparently he got pecked in the eye by a chicken. What is it with effing chickens today? I was student teaching. I was late because there was bunch chickens in the middle of the road. They wouldn't move at all. This is in the middle of a city of 200,000 people. Freaking chickens. I finally get to school and profusely apologize to my mentor teacher and I told her why I was late thinking it sounded ridiculous. She said, yeah, those chickens are fucking assholes. They surrounded my car in the McDonald's parking lot last year. Don't worry about. I was one of about 20 kids who were late to school. We showed up at the school office as a group, and when questioned why we were late, we said the school bus blew up. They questioned so the engine blew up. The kids know, the whole bus, in flames. It blew up. There was much conference between the teachers, all of them thinking we embellished the story. Next thing you know, one of the admin staff has the news website open. Very obvious image of an entire bus on fire with a bunch of kids in our school uniform standing in front of it. Our late slip for class read school bus blew up. Not a student, but one of my teaching assistants, when I ran a preschool in West Philly. Sorry I missed yesterday, my friend shot my mom. Naturally, I'm a little speechless. Oh no it's okay, he was aiming for someone else. Student here, I headed into school early to get some studying done in the library before my night class. I was one exit away when I was caught in a three car accident. Most of the expressway afterwards was gridlock with only one lane left open. I did eventually make it into my lab class 15 minutes late, with a few scrapes and bruises. My professor's reaction was simply oh that was you. After 9 over 11, my small town high school received bomb threats every week for 2 months, and they decided to make us attend school on a Saturday. Myself and about 5 others showed up for our classes, and every teacher said something, like I can't wait for the excuses on Monday. Most of the excuses were something along the lines of family plans or whatnot, but one kid was made read his dad's note aloud to the class because our first period teacher thought it was hilarious. In the most down south accent you can imagine, it went something like my son ain't too smart, but he knows you ain't supposed to get punished for someone else being a dumbass. Bought him a six pack, so he was drunk. You all can f asterisk ck off. I wish we had smartphones to record back then, so I could share it. I had a 6 year old turn up late to her lesson, and blurt out sorry I was late, I had to color in a bunny. Seems fair. Sounds like she has her priorities in order. I'm not the teacher, but we were told that he had a paramedic student who on their way to write their final exam rolled their car into a creek picked up whatever books they had out of their car, and ran the rest of the way to class. Obviously got there late and in tears. You better believe they had a different exam date. School sporting event. Kid on our team was late, because someone stole his windshield wipers, and it was snowing out. Kept having to pull over to the side of the road and wipe off his windshield. Wow, that's a real bastard that swiped his wipers on a snowy day. I'm pink. A fair skinned student, age 10, went with a friend to the Harley festival at a nearby Hindu temple where she was covered with red powder and dyed bright red from head to toe. 
Her mother, another teacher at the school, had made her sit for hours in the bathtub to soak it off, but even after another round of early morning shower scrubbing, she arrived at school a pleasant shade of pink. Technically, she wasn't late, but she stayed in her mother's classroom until the bell rang. I had a chemistry professor show up about 15 minutes late, just when people were about to leave, he shows up and explains that he was just in a car accident, his car had been in a rollover, and he still showed up. He said he was okay. He drove a Volvo. In my hometown, if you walked into anywhere late and said the phrase sorry, grain train you were never challenged. It was extremely common for 50 plus carriage trains to run through the middle of town. We have the same thing in my hometown, except it's the bridge was up. That bridge is notorious for not following a schedule and always being up when you're in a hurry. MTV paid me $50 to fill my backpack with cement and carry it around for the day. I accepted that excuse. Student later regretted it as a replacement backpack and college textbooks far exceeded $50. But he got his moment of fame and I didn't penalize him for his tardy. Gotta live a little. Bear on the backyard. No access gate. Animal control had to trunk it from the room and drag it through the house. Made the news. Got to retake the test timest after sending her the news article. UK. A student couldn't submit an assignment on time as the wifi was down on the megabus. Standard to be on. Let's wait there's wifi on megabus. In high school I biked to class. One day I hit a rock and ate absolute shit. I obviously got to class late. Before I could say a word my teacher stopped class and said thank you for finally joining us. Why are you so late? I raised my heavily bloodied hands and elbows. It must have looked bad because she audibly gasped and rushed me to the school nurse apologizing non-stop the entire way. We had an exam in my class and the teacher got a message from a student saying that he was going to be late because his car had a flat tire. The student was known to party. The teacher didn't think it could be true. So as a joke the teacher asked him to bring the tire back. He brought the flat tire back in the middle of the exam. Needless to say, the professor didn't expect that. I was the student. My neighbor had a really social goat and she figured out how to escape her pen in order to come over and hang out. She escaped and followed me to the bus stop and when the bus came, she tried to follow me onto it. I couldn't actually get on the bus without her being right behind me, so I had to get off, bring her home, and call my dad to bring me to school. Back quote my neighbor, had a really social goat is the best thing I've read today. Thank you, lol. I was a student. When I was in college I opened my front door to see SWAT teams and E agents outside of my house. The one who looked at me was holding some kind of R. I went back inside. From what I heard, there was a multiple sting operation that happened around my town and my neighbor's place got raided. I missed half of my classes that day. Damn you that's when you close the door and go back to the bed. Sorry. Bohemian Rhapsody came on just as I parked. My art teacher when he was about 5.55 minutes late. Kid was late to school and had to miss a very important football game. The reason, his fat pug fell asleep on his phone. The pug's fat rolls muffled his alarm 